The International Day of People with a Disability is being celebrated with events around the country. It's a day that promotes understanding and accepting the more than four million Australians who live with a disability. Social affairs correspondent Norman Hamont has a story of one musician who's helping people with a disability play their own tune. Getting going in the morning is not always easy for Andrew Hewitt. It can take a while to get rolling. A lifetime of cerebral palsy has taken its toll. Hi, old boy. Hi. Hey, going? A bad little coffee? Diabetes is just the latest challenge he lives with. Ow. Don't whinge. On International Day for People with Disability, he asks only one thing. Don't feel sorry for me, because I don't. <laughs> G'day, Andrew. Hey, how you going, mate? Good to see you, mate. All right, let's just start off with a thimble. This is what Andrew Hewitt loves to do, play and teach the drums. Hewitt's students include those living with acquired brain injuries, to Down syndrome, to autism. When I'm behind the drum kit, I go off into my own world. I don't have a disability when I'm behind the drum kit. The, the drum kit is my realm. His passion for music isn't limited to just teaching and performing. Three years ago, he helped found Can Do Musos, a worldwide organization for musicians who live with disability. We wanted to make it that people didn't feel sorry for us, that people actually recognized the talent. Hey everyone, welcome to Can Do Musos TV. Hewitt has his own online TV show, and he's appeared at the huge NAM Music Expo in the U.S. Someone with a disability um, should be able to do what they want to do. I had a dream when I was a kid, and that dream is still very much alive today. For this performer, advocate, and teacher, the dream and the music live on. Norman Hermont, ABC News. Thousands of motor